In general, what is a teacher for you? What does he or she do? Who is your favorite teacher? Why are you taking a course for becoming a teacher? Our poem for today tackles another task of a teacher. We have established on our discussion of Visitation of the Gods by Hilda Cordero Fernando that teachers are not just teachers. They do lots of tasks and act as lots of personas even though they are inside the school. One of which is being a poll worker during the elections. Wanted Teachers for an Election by Ramon C. Sunico. History Lesson Number 8 Wanted Teachers Intelligent Ones Who Do Not Think Poetic Ones Who Do Not Speak Out Industrious Ones Who Have No Ambition Ones With All The Answer And Ask No Questions Ones With Loud Voices And Do Not Complain Scientific Ones Who Do Not Count Kind Ones Without principles. They will nurture and care for our children. They will breathe chalk dust and live by reading. They will guard ballots and catch bullets. They will toil without throwing their pay. Teachers wanted. Ones who always smile and do not cry. In the first stanza, our persona of this poem used contradictions to describe teachers. Teachers for him are intelligent ones who do not think, poetic ones who do not speak out, industrious ones who have no ambition. They have all the answers but ask no questions. They have loud voices but they do not complain. They are scientific yet they do not count. They are kind, but they do not have principle. These lines are examples of paradox. Two contradicting thoughts were combined and for somehow, the idea is true. Teachers have these qualities. They are intelligent, poetic, industrious, scientific, kind, and others. Yet, for some times, they choose not to think, not to speak. Not to have an ambition, not to ask questions, not to complain, not to count, and not to have principles. If we reflect to ourselves thoroughly, we shall know that these lines are all true. The second stanza of the poem offers what a teacher do and what you will do sooner once you become a teacher. They will nurture and care for our children. They will breathe chalk dust and live by reading. They will guard ballots and catch bullets. They will toil without drawing their pay. They will guard ballots and catch bullets. This line with a serious tone implies that li lives are what teachers offer just to have a peaceful election. Teachers wanted. Ones who always smile and do not cry. Class, considering all the facets of a teacher's job, is it possible to always smile and do not cry? A worker, even though he or she is very passionate with what he or she is doing, if he or she felt overworked and his or her dignity is being stepped by other people, will he or she not quit?